Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video we are doing a pattern review and tell you about that collaboration with the lovely Talisha from Creativity by T. Yes, now don't forget, before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into the pattern review for Simplicity 8418. Also a collaboration with the lovely Creativity by T and I'll also show you the matching pants that I made to match this bomber jacket. All right, so what did I create? I created this bomber jacket, which is Simplicity 8418. So the pattern uh, description for this bomber jacket is a Mrs. Line bomber jacket with fabric and trim variations, okay? So for the skill level for this jacket, I would say that it is a intermediate beginner. So if you're a beginner and you have a lot of sewing knowledge, you should be able to tackle this pattern. However, it is not for a true beginner because you need to learn how to be able to sew lining. You need to be able to um, use the correct needle in order to sew the knit portion. You also need to learn how to sew in lining, attach it to the main fabric. And if you have never sewn neck bands, I would, it is not for a beginner. It would be for more of a intermediate or advanced beginner. So this pattern would not be a pattern that you want to start using, but once you gain a little knowledge of um, the sewing terminologies, you should be able to tackle this with no problems. So the fabrics that you can use in order to create this bomber jacket is basically any fabric of your choosing. So some of the fabrics that you can use is brocade, corduroy, denim, flannel, leather-like, micro suede, ponte, poplin, satin, silky type, suede, wool blends, twill, and then you know for your your sleeve band and your lower band, you would need to get some type of stretchable knit, like rib knit. You can even use ponte knit if you have some as well. That's what I did. I used ponte knit because it was already in my stash instead of going out and buy some rib knit in order to create the sleeve band as well as the lower band. So the pattern pieces you will need in order to create this bomber jacket is pattern piece number one through nine. And I did view A uh, for the bomber jacket. So the only pieces I need was pattern piece, pieces one through nine in order to create it. Now the notions that you would use uh, for the bomber jacket is a separating zipper. You would need a 22 inch separating zipper as well as your fabric. So in order to create this bomber jacket, you wouldn't need any more than two yards of fabric and that goes all the way up to size 22. Speaking of sizing, the pattern size that I use is 44 through 22. That's the pattern that I use, uh, size 44 to 22. However, the size that I cut out was a size 16. So my bust measurement is a 40 and a half. I wanted some room, so the finished garment measurement for a size 16 was a 44 and a half, and that's the size that I chose to cut because I wanna be able to layer like turtlenecks or whatever, if it gets super duper cold, I wanna be able to layer pieces underneath the bomber jacket and still be nice, cozy, and warm. Now, modifications. I did not make any modifications to this bomber jacket. Like I said, I have made this jacket before. I made it in May, which I will put pictures up as well of when I made the Mommy and Me bomber jackets for Mother's Day back in May of this year. Did it look like the photo or the pattern envelope? So yes, it does look like the photo on the envelope and the pattern envelope. Um, I, like I said, I did not do anything um, at all. I did not make any modifications, so everything looked easy um, from, and it looked exactly like the pattern envelope. Regarding the instructions, were the instructions easy to follow? So regarding the instructions, the instructions were easy to follow. The only thing that can be fuzzy if you are not familiar with attaching lining is how they want you to do the lining. 
So the easiest way to explain how to do the lining is um, this, because this is the second line jacket that I have made within the last two months. I did a line jacket for my birthday suit, which was Simplicity 8093. That video, in that video, Simplicity 8093, Mimi G walks you through how to do the lining of the um, jacket. However, I remember when I did that one and had to go back and see how to attach the lining, I remember what to do for this jacket. So basically what you need to do is leave a three inch opening on both sleeves and also leave a three inch opening on one of your side seams in order to pull the entire bomber jacket out on the side seam and then in order to finish off the sleeve lining for your sleeves so your sleeve lining will look like this once it's completely you know finished off and everything so that's a good thing that i remembered you know for uh, doing the lining so some of what do i like and dislike about this pattern so what i love about this pattern is it comes together so easy that's one of the things that i did like about this pattern now what i do not like about this pattern is it can be challenging to do the lining to finish off the sleeves if you are not familiar with um, how to finish the sleeves off without having to hand sew. But other than that, I liked everything about this pattern. There was really nothing that I disliked about this pattern. The fabric used, uh, I use 100% cotton and car print from Wax Prints Lace and more. I purchased this fabric from Wax Prince Lace and More back in, I think it was November of last year. If it wasn't November of last year, it was July of last year. I, I can't remember exactly when I purchased this fabric, but it was in my stash and I had a inspiration photo from Instagram. So when I seen that inspiration photo, which I will go ahead and put up, I knew exactly that I was like, hey, oh, I found a photo last month um, I found the inspiration photo and I was like, hey, I have that fabric, so let me make something similar to the inspiration photo. And that's where I came up with this bomber jacket as well as some pants, which I will show you here shortly. Um, would I sew this bomber jacket again? Of course, it is on my list to make again next year. In the summertime, um, I think, you know, a fun, you know, print or whatever would do, or even a solid. I like how I can literally reverse this jacket for a solid or a print and you know, it's good to go. So I think I would sew it again. And yes, I would recommend this to others if you are looking for a bomber jacket pattern. Two good patterns to use for a bomber jacket would be this one right here, which is Simplicity 8418, as well as McCall 7637. Those are two really good bomber jacket patterns that you can use in order to make you a bomber jacket. Now my pattern rating for this bomber jacket, I'm going to give this bomber jacket a 4.5, the only out of five. And the only reason why I'm taking off a half of a point is because of the lining, you know, um, doing the sleeve lining can be, you know, a little difficult. And I noticed that at the very top, I had to go and unpick simply because at the very top, um, the neck band, the dots do not match up. So I had to go and unpick that as well. But other than that, everything was fine with the pattern. Um, now with this bomber jacket, I did create matching pants to go along with it. It reminds me of your harem pants and I'm gonna show you what those pants look like. This is the pants that I created. The pattern that I use for the pants is Simplicity 9268. And for uh, the pants, it is a Mimi G pattern. I noticed that Mimi G did not uh, do a tutorial. Now, to be honest, 
Mimi G did not really need to do a tutorial because there are so many tutorials online, which I have one for Simplicity 1165, which is super similar to this pattern, which is my TNT pattern that you have, guys have heard me say so many times for Simplicity 1165. So if you go to that video, then it would be super easy for you to do these pants because everything pretty much is the same except for how you do the elastic at the leg area. If you know how to put elastic on your waist, it's the same thing doing it at the bottom of the hem for the leg uh, elastic. So there was nothing really difficult about this pattern whatsoever. I like it. The only thing that I did not like about it is how high um, the pants are. It's basically high-waisted elastic pants. So this actually goes to, the pants go to your actual natural waistline. So it's not right at belly button where I normally wear majority of my pants, it's much higher. So I was surprised that the crotch was not baggy or anything. Everything fits seamless. Now, for me, the only thing that I did not like, now it's not a pattern that I did not like, it was more of the fabric. So one thing when you are working with plaid, you have to make sure that it lines up. So I spent a lot of time in my feelings about plaid. And the reason why is because I wanted to make sure everything lined up from the front to the back to across, up and down, everything needed to line up. So for the most part, every single line lined up as much as I wanted it to line up, including the arms on the bomber jacket, it lined up as well. So it took, it. I wanna say with plaid, you have to take your time and be patient if you are working with plaid because you have to cut everything out in a single layer. So if you're cutting plaid and you happen to cut in double layer, then it is not going to match up. So just make sure, and that's a tip that I'll give you, that if you're working with plaid, make sure you do single layer versus a double layer. Now for the pants, I cut a size 18 all the way, I'm sorry, take that back. I cut a size 16 all the way around and that gave me a hip measurement of a 45 and a half. Reason being is because I wanted a little bit of room. Now my hip is a 44, 45 and a half gave me more than enough room for the butt area. Cause the shape of the curve on some of the curvy girls, they need a little inch. Just to let you know, I didn't want that to be rising up in the crotch area for being too tight. So I cut a 45 and a half and it fits great. Um, it, you could, the only part portion where it was a little flared out would be towards the bottom part of my leg, like hair on pants. But um, other than that, I didn't, I didn't have any problems. I liked it. It did, it did not bother me at all. So I cut a size 16 for the pants patterns. I paired it, you know, with the bomber jacket and I loved it. So that's all that I have as far as the pants. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and put pictures up, but if you have not already, go ahead and look at Talisha from Creativity by T's video regarding her bomber jacket and what she made with Simplicity 8418. That's all that I have for you in this video. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So until next time, keep sewing.